business news right here on TV Africa's News. Uh, my name is Christopher Ticho. Let's just stay a while longer on matters of business because the Ghana International Bank has reached a settlement agreement with UK's Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, and its investigations into Ghana International Bank on satisfactory anti-laundry, anti-money laundering controls. The Financial Conduct Authority had earlier fined that the bank had a 5.8 million pounds after discovering some def some deficiencies in the anti-money laundering system. In a statement on today, June 23, 2022, said it accepts responsibility for the Development Financial Conduct Authority has taken steps to improve controls of Ghana International Bank, the full responsibility for its historic failings and under the terms of the agreement has agreed to pay a civil penalty totaling 500,829,900 euros. The FCA noted in its findings that the Ghana International Bank has since taken significant steps in improving its AML systems and controls. It also said that Ghana International Bank and its senior management had worked in an open and cooperative way with the regulator, including by notifying the FCA of its AML shortcomings. It should also be noted that no evidence was found of Ghana International Bank bank facilitating any money laundering or other financial crime. The bank said in a statement, among the steps it has taken, the bank said it has appointed a new board with independent directors enhance its risk management framework. The chief executive, Dean Adansi, said Ghana International takes its compliance with anti-money laundering regulations extremely serious and they are pleased to have come to the resolution with the financial conduct authority over these historic issues. He added that they are looking forward to supporting clients as a bank of choice and trusted partner in Africa.